One of the key challenges for young people in the future will not be that of processing enough knowledge. It will actually be one of making sure they can solve different and new questions and uh, challenges. So that's why creativity becomes so important, because we essentially have to give young people a tool set that will allow them to go into a world that is unknown. But they have to have a tool set that will put them in a situation where they can solve the problems, even if they don't know them in advance. Teachers have spent half a decade telling young people not to play around in the classroom. And I think that's the biggest mistake you can make. Rather, we should go in and say, start playing around, because that is the way, that is the way you trigger the curiosity that will allow every child to learn something. One example is the robot competitions, where you have young people that are finding, not through the science class in school, but perhaps mostly through an after-school activity where they compete in robot technology, so they participate in competitions. This is a new way of looking at learning, because what's going on there is just as relevant, if not more, compared to what's going on in the science class. But the young people don't feel that this is education in the traditional sense. They feel that this is an exciting way of getting together and being a team that is trying to solve something that they are competing and they're practicing uh, in a very meaningful way to them. But in reality, what it is, it is great science learning for them. One of the key things we would like to contribute with in the world of education is allowing more children to express themselves in their unique way. Because some children are comfortable expressing themselves in writing, some through uh, telling stories. But there are also a number of children who are not comfortable with that, but who like to use their hands to express their own ideas. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're trying to create activities and models, meaning Lego models, that are based on core curriculum subjects. So in a science class, you can not only read about the laws of science and physics, but you can actually use Lego bricks to try and test them. And you can manipulate your Lego models to understand what happens when we apply the laws of physics to a given situation. So I can very easily picture a future where the school becomes part of a larger matrix of different entities that are all providing learning to the young people. But of course the school has to maintain a role in securing that the quality of the learning is still at a high standard. That we can never let go out into the, this ecosystem and, and, ex, and assume that other parties will secure that the, the quality is high. The school has to play that role. Mm -hmm.